Welcome to the IDC Foundation Art, Architecture, Construction, and Engineering Lab, also known as the ACE Lab. I'm Harrison Tyler, and I spent the last two years designing and building this space in collaboration with staff and faculty from all three schools at the Cooper Union. We designed the ACE Lab as an interdisciplinary makerspace, bringing advanced fabrication tools to the entire student body. To give you a sense of what the ACE Lab means, I'll walk you around the room and show you some of the tools. So this is our seven axis CNC robotic milling center. And what this machine does is it uses a cutting attachment on the hand of a robotic arm to reach around all sides of your block of material to cut very complex objects. So this machine and many of the others that we're gonna look at today are really special to have at Cooper Union because typically these machines are really only found in large scale industrial environments. So to have access to these for really any kind of experimentation is something really unique. This machine is a CNC water jet cutter. This uses a super high pressure jet of water mixed with basically a sand and it uses that to cut through up to one inch thick of virtually any material you can think of. So anything from glass to stone, rubber, plastic, metal, and really anything in between. And over here, we have a CNC embroidery machine. This uses 16 different threads to embroider a digital image file onto textiles. Beyond traditional applications, an engineer could even use conductive thread to embroider flexible circuits. This is our metal cutting laser cutter. This machine uses a super high powered laser to cut through metals up to an eighth of an inch thick with extreme precision. One really cool thing about this machine is you can take any of the metal objects that you cut over to the metal shop and weld or braze them into much larger three-dimensional assemblies. Over here, we have our full-color gypsum 3D printer. This machine prints three-dimensional objects out of a white plaster material, and as it's printing, it uses an inkjet cartridge to fully colorize the print. This is great for full color models or prototypes, or even things like colored three-dimensional visualizations. One really important feature of the new ACE Lab is that we've reinstalled this doorway connecting the brand new space to the existing fabrication space on the fourth floor. This makes it easier for students to work between more traditional means of fabrication and newer digital fabrication tools. This is our laser cutting section. So these laser cutters cut through a wide variety of materials from woods and plywoods to plastics such as acrylic. Cooper had previously owned two 60 watt laser cutting machines. We've upgraded this one to 150 watts and we purchased another 150 watt machine. This means that we can cut faster or through thicker materials. This machine is a vacuum forming machine. This uses a combination of heat and vacuum pressure to sort of shrink wrap plastic sheets around objects or molds. These are all of our 3D printers. Up here we have eight Formlabs resin 3D printers. These machines print very high resolution. Uh, this is an example of a print. And while they print with one material at a time, you have the option of printing with a pretty wide selection of materials. Down here we have eight Ultimaker printers, which use up to two materials at a time out of thermoplastic filaments. Having 16 3D printers drastically increases Cooper's 3D printing capacity and makes it so that so many more students have access to these. We've added these computers right across from the printers to make it really easy for students to come in, quickly open up their files, and then easily just send it right to the printers to print. This is our CNC wire bending machine. This bends different thicknesses of wire into shapes depending on a digital file. Then you can take those shapes of bent wire and then weld or screw them together to create large assemblies such as a steel bridge model. In addition to some of these larger digital fabrication tools, we have some other supplemental digital tools such as this HTC Vive virtual reality headset. We have some Microsoft HoloLens augmented reality headsets. And then we have an engineering grade 3D scanner. This is a very high resolution 3D scanner. So this captures in 3D objects up to about the size of a car. Then you can take those 3D files and use them as input for many of our tools. Lastly, we built a soundproof room for our new CNC machine. 
The CNC is an industrial tool that's used to cut sheets of material up to four feet by eight feet. This can cut materials like plywood, plastics, and even aluminum. So this is a 12 horsepower machine that uses cutting tools like this to cut through the material. One cool thing about this machine is that it automatically changes between the different types of bits that you might want to use. We're really excited to see artists, architects, and engineers all working within the same space and having access to all of these incredible new tools. We think this opens up a ton of new possibilities both within disciplines and also across disciplines. It was an honor building this space and I really look forward to seeing how students will use it. The launch of the ACE Lab is another important step for Cooper Union in our commitment to pursue interdisciplinary approaches that are at the intersection of art, architecture, and engineering. This really fills a gap for our students so that they can go out in the world and participate in the, the work that's made by this technology. When we launch them out to the world, it's gonna be really important for them to have that exposure and experience. My interest is for the students to begin to imagine other ways of conceptualizing hybrid constructions that fall between the digital and the manual and between one medium and another. So for instance, you can make something on a 3D printer, but then in our shop, you can cast it in bronze. So there's this incredible opportunity to take what we've already been doing and expand it with these new digital tools. And I think the students are beginning to see that computational protocols are not external to the physical world. They are actually part and parcel of building that dialogue. And really, when you're thinking about innovation, it's those, those new ideas that come about by interfacing with different people, with different perspectives and different experiences. And so that's the exciting part about the ACE Lab for me. The hope is with this space, we'll have students shoulder to shoulder, looking at work, talking to each other, and really exploring what these tools can do, which you know is, is really the first time in our history that we have this. I think in five to 10 years, as we look back on this era, we'll, we'll really see the, the benefits of the seeds that we planted.